Two people are in jail tonight as we continue to follow a developing story out of Fergus Falls, Minnesota. They're there in connection with the death of a six-year-old boy. Bobby Bishop and Walter Winhoff were arrested and are being held on third-degree murder charges. Fergus Falls police say that early yesterday morning, six-year-old Justice Ray Berland was brought to the hospital there unconscious and not breathing. Attempts to revive him for, were unsuccessful. We're told that Berland was living with Bishop and Weinhoff at a home in Fergus Falls, and investigators say there were clear indications that the boy had been abused and neglected. Valley News Team's Veronica Marshall spoke with a member of Walter Winhoff's family who says his heart is breaking over the young life lost too soon. I just like to say that uh, you know our hearts go out to the, the true family of this poor little boy. Even though it's his brother in jail. This isn't the brother that I know and loved. Stephen Winhoff is thinking about justice after the six-year-old's life abruptly ended. If these allegations are true, it's, it's just horrible and we're just heart sickened about it. Justice was living with Stephen's brother Walter and Bobby Bishop at the time of his death. Despite living hours away, Stephen said he had an idea something was wrong in Fergus Falls. He just didn't know how bad it really was. I don't know what's been going on there for the last year and a half that I've been gone, but obviously it's not good. In a text message posted on Bishop's Facebook page, Stephen even threatened to contact Child Protective Services. And now a small memorial has sprung up where Justice lived, proving that Stephen isn't the only one thinking about him. In Fergus Falls, Veronica Marshall, Valley News Live. An autopsy is being performed to determine the exact cause of death. Justice wasn't the only child in the home. Police say a sibling was taken into protective custody. And we'll continue to follow the story as it develops. For more, visit us online, valleynewslive.com.